In the town of Ashland, the roots of Scott Brannan's family tree run deep. Ashland has been home for the Brannan family for a, a numerous generations. And few spots are they as deep as 510 Wesley Street, once home to his grandparents, Wesley William Brannan and Joseph Joe Lewis White. His name was Papa, and we, my grandmother went by Nanny. And as their family grew to include kids and grandkids, it served as a literal home base. This was the uh, gathering place most Sundays. His grandmother lived there until her death 40 years ago, and the home was eventually torn down. But with so much history and so many roots, it's been buried for a good while. It's no surprise a few things could have been left in the ground. So it's pretty old artifact. Which brings us to January, when the site was becoming Hanover and King William Habitat for Humanity's 78th home. And construction manager Jeff L. decided to use his metal detector. I found a a fair assortment of uh, bottle tops and some modern coins. And then right about where I'm seated right now, we found a, um, a watch. Bing, bing, bing. Estimated to be around 100 years old, the inscription on the back, WWB to JLW, meant its owners might not remain a mystery. Okay, here we have a, an artifact, something that is going to be able to be tied to people, probably here in Ashland. So L reached out to Ashland's vice mayor and longtime Habitat volunteer John Hodges, who in turn connected him with Roseanne Schull with the Ashland Museum. I knew that if anyone could track down what the initials uh, represented, it would be her. I just thought I can do this. And it was well-placed confidence as Schulf used records to tie the initials to Wesley and Joe and found their descendants not always a guarantee in genealogy. Sometimes families don't hang on to that. If you've ever watched um, uh, Finding Your Roots, some of these people don't know who their grandparents were. Not so with this family and not so usually in Ashland. Brandon says the watch would have been a gift before the couple married in 1925. As to where it was found on the property, Brandon says it's where Nanny had her flower garden and sometimes Easter egg hiding spot as seen in this photo. That's probably how she lost the watch, was leaning over either planning or or Easter egg hunt or somehow or another, but uh, it's been buried at least for 40 years. Habitat and all those involved in the search gave the watch back to the Brannan clan last week, and next month will give the home to its new owners. Moving people uh, up to home ownership changes their lives, not only for the person, but the whole family. Which in turn will lead to new roots taking hold. I'm glad to see a new life being brought to this 510 Wesley Street. Now, with so many descendants of Wesley and Joe, there's no real obvious choice of someone to take ownership of the heirloom. So they've donated it and some family photos to the Ashland Museum, who will be putting together an exhibit to share the family story with others. In Ashland, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.